G'day folks, Ren here, and today we are doing my April demon trap. Okay, so another demon trap down, and do you think that I completed the demon trap? Do you think I successfully trapped Lilith? If you said no, you know me very well. So I didn't end up finishing my March demon trap. March has kind of been a really stressful month because my boy Chopper, he has hurt his leg and turns out he's actually torn the dog equivalent to an ACL. So that's a, a big injury and he's been limping a lot. So it's been kind of rough. So, you know, not all of the books got done. But let me go through what I did manage to complete in March and then we will head over to my April demon trap. Okay, so the demon that I had in March was Lilith and the prompt for that was middle grade. I am currently halfway through Wheeler, which is apparently how it's pronounced instead of Wyler, but I'm halfway through that and I will finish that by the end of the month. Then the character that we picked was Kevin and that's an AAPI character and for that I chose Cat Plus Gamer Volume 1 and I gave that two stars. Then for the placement I had to read a book that was over 100,000 reviews and for that I picked Little Women but I actually ended up DNFing that but that still counts as a completed part of the demon trap. And then for material use I got Blood and the prompt for that is a creepy cover. And so for that I read Sync Volume 1, oh my god, one of my favourites of the month, five stars. So then on to the other symbols. So I had to do a random number generator and for that one I got everyone in my family has killed someone and I did read that and I gave it four stars. For the random letter generator I had to read unguarded and I did read that and gave it four stars. Then for the kindle prompt I had to read my lady's lover and I'm currently halfway through that and I'll finish that later on today. And then for the library prompt I had to read my hero academia volume 11. I haven't read it yet but I'm feeling filming this very much in advance so I will finish that by the end of the month as well. The last prompt, I mean like no one's shocked I didn't get to this, but that prompt was over 500 pages. For that I was meant to read The Crown of Gilded Bones. I didn't read it. I keep putting this book off for months. Actually it's probably been like a year now. I keep putting it on TBRs, I know I want to read it and then I just don't. Yes, yeah, so that was the only book I did not get to in March. So even though I completed everything else, I still take that as not completing the demon trap. That means Lilith has to stick around for another month, joining my new demon. So April is going to be really busy for me because I have a lot of events happening, I have a lot of family members coming over, and I also have Chopper. So at the end of March he is having leg surgery and then it's a eight week recovery and at least for the first week maybe two I have to be with him 24 7 and that's going to take so much of my mental energy that I don't know how much I'm actually going to get read this month but I'm going to try. <laughs> so there are also a bunch of readathons that I am doing in April. I am going to be taking part in Realmathon and Aurelium, but if you want to see my TBRs for those, go and watch my April TBR gate. Okay, so on to April's demon trap. So of course I did not finish my demon trap, so Lilith has to stay in the trap. And then let's pick our next demon, and let's hope I can complete the TBR so I don't have any more demons. Alright, let's go for this one. Ruby, a colour in the title. Okay. Wow, how funny that it is Lilith and Ruby together. If you know, you know. So like I said, 
Lilith is staying in the demon trap this month and her prompt is middle grade. So the book I decided to pick for this was Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. This is a middle grade horror book which is very much what I'm in the mood for this month and it has something to do with this girl saving a book and then she reads it and she's like really spooked by it because there's this person creature called the smiling man that was like haunting people or killing them or something and then she finds out on a school trip that these people actually existed because she finds their graves and then I think this smiling man starts haunting her or something I don't know everyone seems to really enjoy this series and I'm really looking forward to it and then the next demon I picked up was Ruby and the prompt for that is color in the title and can I just say if you know you know why this is an amazing combination. But yes, colour in the title. Now for this I ended up going with a book that fits some of my Aurelian prompts which is Gold of the Gods by Bear Grylls. This is the first in the Mission Survival series I assume but it is a middle grade survivalist story and I love survival stories so I'm interested in this and it's just about this guy being stuck in the Colombian jungle with no GPS, no food and no help but two friends with only a tattered map and a strange amulet guiding their way. Alright let's start off with a character card this time. Try and figure out who is going to trap Lilith and Ruby. Okay, let's do this one. Charlie! LGBTQIA plus femme. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna put Charlie off to the side. Okay so the character card that I picked was Charlie and her prompt is LGBTQIA plus femme. So a female identifying queer main character. So for this I decided to pick My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cottingham. I had vaguely heard about this book years ago but I just was like eh not super interested and then someone was reading it on a sprints I was on and I was like this sounds amazing. It says Wilder Girls meets The Craft. I haven't read Wilder the girls but I think I should and the craft is just iconic so yeah it is a sapphic horror debut so that's very interesting. All right let's go with um, material used. So how are we going to draw our demon trap? Let's do Spray paint, a colourful cover. Doing all the colours this month. Um, okay, colourful cover, we'll go. To... And then we have placement. So, where is Charlie going to spray paint the sigil? Ceiling, above a four star. Okay. This one can go here. Alright, now for some sigils and I just really need a lot of non-reading prompts this month. Although last time I said that I got some really annoying <laughs> prompts. Let's hope the board doesn't hate me this month. Meant to read last year. Hmm. Ooh. I am struggling, I don't know. I'm gonna combine this with a four star. We'll just see if I've made a huge mistake. Okay, next. Next in series. Um. Okay, I'm going to combine Next in Series with Colourful Cover. The medium that I got was spray paint and the prompt for that is a colourful cover and I ended up combining this with Next in Series. So for that I chose My Hero Academia Volume 12 by Kohi Horikoshi. This manga series is really great, it's about a bunch of kids with superpowers in training to become heroes because being a hero is a legitimate career that you need training for. So it's really cool and at this point they are doing a test. 
just very cool, highly recommend. Then for placement, I got Ceiling. So that is to read a book above a four star rating. And I ended up combining this with Meant to Read last year. So the book I went for for this prompt was Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I am actually part way through this. I've been part way through it for like two months. I do need to read this because this is actually my brother's copy. I've been meaning to read this for a long time. I should probably finish it so I can give it back to my brother. Okay, next. Sprints. Okay, I can definitely do some sprints, so I'll just put that there. Okay, two more to go. I want a prompt I haven't had before. Let's do minimal shuffling. Seasonal. Um, okay. What season am I going into? I'm going into autumn. That means creepy books. Could I combine seasonal with a queer femme character? Not sure. So, I'm going to put that one over there. So then I got a non-reading prompt and that was sprints. I will be partaking in sprints at some point in April, I'm sure. Then I got seasonal. So for seasonal, I decided to go with Such Pretty Flowers by K.L. Sarah. And this is kind of like a horror thriller with queer main character, which is also very nice. But it is about this sister trying to solve her brother's suicide because she doesn't think it was a suicide and she ends up falling for her prime suspect. But there's something creepy about all this because the last message her brother sent her said, get it out of me. Okay, last one. Let's hope it's a non-reading prompt or something I can combine. Try something new. Well, it's a non-reading prompt, so that's something. And then the last card that I got was Try Something New. And for this, I'm going to try and make my own glasses chain. Very much in the style of one Grell Sutcliffe from Black Butler. She's a queen, I love her, I want her glasses chain. So I'm going to try that this month. Also, I could not figure out a prompt for Gabriel, so if someone can think of a good reading prompt that is very fitting with Gabriel, please put it down below and I will change this prompt. But that is all of the books that I'm going to read for my Demon Trap for April. What was your favourite card? I mean, my card might be Gabriel, just because it's Gabriel, but I also love that I got Lilith and Ruby together. Like, that's just amazing. I'm having a great time with that. I will see you in my next one, where hopefully I would have trapped Lilith and Ruby. Bye.